Using standard questions are actually a good way to eliminate bias. Here's a second reason. Using ChatGPT can be a signal rather than a cheat. In the it, like developers, as developers, we're already using Copilot on the regular. We're always already using these generative AI tools. So one option, let's turn over to my awesome drawing here. Here's what the data really says. If we eliminate interviewing.io's actual conclusions, here's what the data says, is that the automated code challenge is exploitable, like from an InfoSec perspective. Um, you can hack it. Thanks for the rose. Given that it's exploitable, one way you can push back is like make it harder, which is what they're saying, like use custom questions. Another solution is accept the exploit, basically. Just like call, say that this is like a feature, not a bug. <laughs> Um, and start gauging signal on the candidate's ability to use GPT. You can even tell them you can use GPT and you can even assess them directly on their use of GPT. Um, you might give them, just as we give them coding questions, you might give them prompt engineering questions. How would you prompt chat GPT to solve the following problem? Don't even tell me what the solution of the problem is. Just tell me your prompting strategy. And I think that will, yeah, give you a useful signal because ICs use, use these tools. It also eliminates cheating and bias, which is going to happen. Like the cheating is going to happen, y'all. It's We now have the data that this thing is exploitable. And it's only going to get easier to exploit. 